Drama in the Sim. Today we're going to be addressing a few problems that we have with my friends and my family. Wow, I can feel the tension already rising. <laughs> Old Granny, I know you're eager to speak. Let's start with you. Yeah, Rick Monty, I was a loyal customer to you. Why'd you leave me in the dust? Well, I had my own bills to pay, and my family was starving, so we needed more money. So I decided to use Bizwax as my How much for an apple? One rupee. That's nothing. Oh, Brady, there are so many people that sell the same fruit group Monty does. Why don't you just go find a new person to give you produce? Because Rukmani's mom now. <laughs> because me and Rukmani had a connection. We were good friends. Now I'm probably going to go and die on the streets of starvation. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I'm sorry. Okay, on to the next topic. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, care to explain why I saw you with Kenny here last night while your husband was away? Um, I I try to help you and your wife be as happy as you guys could. Yeah, but I'm not comfortable with my wife fooling around with a foreigner. I'm sorry, but that's not my problem. That's between you and Rukmani. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. Okay, so let's talk about the situation that happened the other day. Kuthi decided to threaten me. She threatened you? About what? Food? Yeah. She threatened me too. Why didn't you tell me that she threatened you? I don't know. Kunti, why would you betray me like that? You've been my friend since when me and Nathan had first been married. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't you ask one of my baby daddies why I betrayed you? I needed extra rice for the babies that Nathan gave me. Oh! What? Yeah! Oh. oh! You're the father of our children. Oh! Really? Ooh. So, could you explain yourself? Okay, well, the first time? was before we were even married. Ooh. There was a second time. Ooh. Nathan, why did you not learn from your first mistake? Why did you go back to her? Okay, she has like this special power. Ooh. I don't know, it just came over me. Um, Nathan, you Ooh. knew you were married. Why would you come back to me a second time and impregnate me again? Oh. oh! Nothing to say? Ooh. Lots of words? Oh. Oh. All of the above? Mother, how are you able to support us with all these problems going on around you? Sell them. I would do anything for my kids. That's how I put up with all of this. You're so cool. And we'll be right back. Hello, Nathan here. We're back with some of our family problems. Archie, why would you go against the tannery and ruin our family's name? It was all your fault. It was for a good cause. They weren't even paying us much. And because of me, why even complain? I was the one that brought money to the house, and you guys were able to get food and clothes. All right. Because of your little outrage at the tannery, you got fired. What are you going to do now? Okay, because of that, now I have a better opportunity. I am able to go and work at the tea plantation. Don't you think that's a better opportunity for me? It's so far from us. You're going to be away from your family. Okay, I'm old enough to be able to take care of myself. Enough of our June. Let's talk about Raja. Why would you steal from a tannery official and not expect any punishment? Well, we had we're all dying. We had no other choice. That's all we could do. Do 
really think death was the best consequence for stealing? I didn't even kill you. You were weak in the first place. It wasn't our fault. Why are you coming to me and asking for no trouble? You brought this upon yourself. Your son brought it upon himself. He decided to steal from me and you had to do something about it. Ira, why would you become a prostitute? I try to give you everything. It was my last resort. Nothing was working. That was the only way I could support my family. Do you need to understand? Well, Dad, why can't you just accept that this is my fate? I'm doing this to further the wealth of our families. Ira, I did not raise you this way to become a prostitute. Cry. Okay. What made you decide to do this besides feeding Kuti? I just said, it was my last resort. I needed the money and that seemed like the best thing to do, so I took it. Kuti, I'm sorry I couldn't help you, but can you just name one thing that I could have done to help you out? Well, I just wish that somebody like took care of me like I should have been taken care of. <laughs> Ruku, why did you take such little care of me? Why didn't you put me as a priority? I'm your child. You're supposed to take care of me first before you take care of anyone else. You just let me die and you didn't even care. Listen, I'm sorry you feel this way, but there's just so much going on right now. I love you equally. I love all my kids equally. Okay, but I died though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ira was upset that she didn't have a kid, so I thought it would be a good idea if you went under her care. But I guess it just didn't work out in the end. I apologize. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> Thanks for watching Drama in a Sip. Come back next week for more scandalous drama.